All right, so this loop is the figure eight loop. Um, unlike the, the bowl in which is great for just around camp, uh, you know, camp chores, field craft, and just a good all-purpose loop, I can tie a slightly more robust loop than the bowlin <clears throat> called the figure eight loop. So what I'm going to do, there's two ways to tie this. So I'm going to start with um, a bite in my rope. I pass around and then through the bite. So I end up with my uh, figure eight knot, right? which you guys have seen before. What I want to do is make sure I've got uh, <clears throat> quite a bit of working end on the other side of that figure eight. Okay. This first one's called the pass-through figure eight. Anyone that's familiar with rock climbing will uh, know this knot. So I tie my figure eight about a foot down the line, <clears throat> and then I'll pass my line around my structure, my uh, um, climbing harness, or whatever I'm going to use. <clears throat> then simply going to take the working end, and I'm going to follow the working end back through the figure eight knot. So I just follow along, tracing the same path that I took originally. And I kind of cut this one short. But I follow that back around, the pass through figure eight or follow through figure eight. And now I've ended up with a loop that's tied permanently with a very robust knot around um, my, my tie-in harness or whatever I want that loop to go through. And you can make sure you've done this right by tracing kind of the two, the two lines all the way around. Now, if I'd left myself a little more working end, I would have tied another overhand knot down here as sort of a stopper knot, more as a backup to my figure eight. So that's the pass-through, and it's most helpful when I'm trying to get my working end around something. If I'm just looking to tie the figure eight loop in the, I've got the end, I don't have to go around anything. I'll come down a little further. I'll take a bite of rope, like a, a large bite of rope. I'll fold that bite of rope into another bite, and then with the, the folded end of the, the larger bite, I go all the way around and tuck through, just like tying a regular figure eight stopper knot. And then as I dress that knot up, because I tied this on a bite, I have my loop, which is now tied off with my figure eight knot further down the line. So that's just a figure eight uh, pull through or figure eight on a bite. And then earlier I showed you the pass through around something like a climbing harness or this uh, this kettlebell. And if I have a lot of working end left and I can, in order to tie sort of a backup knot and keep this from flopping around the way, I go around the standing end and just tie a simple overhand knot or half hitch and tighten that down. And now I've got sort of a backup knot to my figure eight loop. Right. And then I can use this, I can clip it with my carabiner, I can drop this over um, whatever purpose I'm putting this, this looped end to use. But this is a very robust figure eight loop.